Welcome to Spirit Like the Game. The first thing you're going to do is type in your username. From there, you're directed to the start page. Click here to play the game. Energy. Stop. On this page, you'll type in some basic information. Your school will be on this list and you'll select it here. For this question, you might not know the answer, so you can press, I don't know, tell me. You'll encounter other buttons like this or hint buttons throughout the game to help you solve problems. The next few screens provide an overview on how to play the game. For example, how to move or how to jump. Next, you encounter what we call level zero. This is basically a practice level where we review how to move throughout the game. For example, here you're using the arrow keys to move and the control key to shoot, which was covered on those last few screens. You'll only encounter this the first time you play the game. The next time you log in, the game will remember where you were and pick up where you left off. Now let's move on to playing the actual game. Here's one of the word problems students might encounter while playing our game. It takes 877 steps to get there. To come back, first you go 278 steps towards the woods. Then you turn and count another, another she can't remember. How many more steps should she take before stopping? You can also click to get a hint which will help by putting the problem in equation form. Welcome to the virtual world in which Spirit Lake the game is set. Now we're off to save our village by solving that first word problem. Run, wolves! <laughs> it turns out the world is full of word problems. Here we encounter another one. Rabid wolves have you up a tree. You may need as many as five arrows per wolf. There are seven wolves. How many arrows do you need? This part of the game is one that children who play it seem to find the most fun, and adults who play it seem to find the most challenging. Now hurry, you have to find those herbs. But for a second, let's go back to those wolves. Let's say you get that question wrong. You get two chances at a question, because maybe the first time you just accidentally typed in the wrong number, or you go back and you see, oh, simple mistake. Here you even see that it says, maybe you were adding, because five plus seven equals 12. With two wrong answers, maybe you need to work on multiplication just a little bit more. Now you're directed to a learning module. It gives you a few options. The memory game is a really popular one, so let's play that. Now this isn't a traditional memory game where you're looking just for matching images. Here you're looking for equations and products. 4 times 3, 12. 3 times 9, 27. After you've completed the module, you take a quiz to make sure that you understand the concept. Pass the quiz and you get to return to gameplay. If you don't pass the quiz, you return to the module page, select another one, and practice multiplication just a little more. Now, back to searching for those herbs. 
You needed three herbs for each person and there are eight people. Put in the number here, 24, collect the herbs, Now, return to your village with the herbs that you've collected. out some additional game scenes and word problems you'll encounter in Spirit Lake the game. Here we have a word problem dealing with the number line. Here's a word problem dealing with probability. Now let's see what happens if we get it wrong. Because remember, the kids playing this game won't be getting all the problems right. Again, you get two chances because sometimes you just push the wrong button or put in the wrong answer. Again, after the second wrong answer, they're redirected to the learning module screen. Now every learning module screen is different because each problem focuses on a different concept. Each time, students will get multiple options. For example, in this page on probability, they can choose practice questions or a video. As you can see, sometimes the elements are things we've created within the game, and other times they're really good resources that we've vetted and found elsewhere that we've decided to incorporate into the game. After you've reviewed the concepts, now back to gameplay. Accuracy and authenticity is of paramount importance to us at Seven Generation Games. We work with cultural experts who are members of the tribes that we depict for our games. Additionally, we work with educators who are actively teaching in classrooms so we can solicit their feedback and improve our products to best serve their needs and the needs of their students. We also have additional supplemental materials that teachers can opt to use. Our games are aligned with national common core standards. And seven generation games products have demonstrated tangible results when it comes to student improvement. Seven Generation Games, combining math, Native American history, and adventure gaming.